Enola Patmos TV Entertainment. splendid weekend here and this very beautiful Saturday we are here for the movie premiere of mine now I saw the poster and being here right now talking to some of the crew talking to some of the cast you know what they're saying uh, the back of the camera and hearing them have to say how they put their hearts their sweat their money inside this project I really can't wait to talk to them full here on the red carpet to see how the journey was from location to set I mean, doing a ghetto film in Nigeria, I can really imagine how stressful it was from the Agberos, taxing them, even them themselves being on the streets, you know. I just can't imagine a lot of sweat they put into this, but I really can't wait to talk to the cast and crew officially to hear what they have to say about mine. This movie is a Richard Omobi's movie. Please make sure you watch it when it comes out to cinema, but I'm going to go and talk to your favorite very soon. Now, let's take it to the red carpet. Hi guys, I'm here with the director. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you? Fine. You look good. I like it. The brown. You look good. You swagged it out. Thank you, sir. So we're here for the movie premiere of mine. First of all, tell me, how was it directed? When you got the script? Yeah, let's talk about when you got the script. How was it? All right. When I got the script, the first thing that came to my mind is how do we go into the street again? You know what I wish you, what I wish you when you get into the streets? Especially having to deal with the odds in Lagos, anywhere you put your camera or order and all that. So, tell me about it. <laughs> so, but we just had to be courageous to say, okay, let's take this to the street and do it. There are some things that we had to build to make sure we don't go straight into the street because there are some of the scenes that we had to create the streets in a place that we wanted them to be. Yeah, so it made it easy for us. Working with Shengarin and Chidimoke Meta, if they did any, I'll call them out here. Don't worry, call them. Chidimoke Meta is not on this. Maybe, uh, maybe you are prophesying. Um, He's on the next one. Shengarin is, uh, is yes. my pa. <laughs> no, I was that. working with him. Of course, see, every time you work with him, is is always fun. Mm -hmm. I'll say that, and he's a professional, so never a time you have a problem working with him. How many days did you guys spend on set? Two weeks on set. I'm looking at the welfare. <laughs> no, we ate well. Welfare and security, we prepared for it. Yeah, you know, when you prepare for a job, yes. nothing catches you off guard. What did you enjoy most on set, director? What did you enjoy most? Mm, what do I enjoy most? My cinematographers. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I brought in a good crew and we were That's very it. good. The crew 
makes it work more easy when you have crew who are uh, able to compromise and understand the exactly. job. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me, as a director now, are you proud of Nollywood? Do you think Nollywood is getting there or there's still so much of to course. do? If we're not proud of it, we won't be here. Happy. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're not where we should be, but I'm so proud of it. All right? And I know we're doing great. We're going places. Tell them why they have to come out to cinemas to watch this movie when it comes out November 3rd. Okay, come November 3rd, you should come and watch one movie that will remain your memory forever. And that is me. Ne? I love the movie and I know you fall in love with it when you see the movie. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to me. All right, thanks. I'm sitting here on the red carpet and I'm here with one of the lead actors. How are you doing? I love your dressing, by the way. White, thank white, you. blue. I mean, you're, can, I, can I take knuckle? You're really the streets. <laughs> So please, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Kezi Kome, and I am Mine in Mine. So how was you on set? Uh, how was I on set? Or how was Mine on set? Which one? Who, who do you how were you on set? How was Kezi on set? Kezi Kome, as soon as she got on set, she became Mine. Kezi stopped existing. She became uh, the character. She embodied the character. She existed as Mine throughout the entire short period. Challenging was it stressful? Of course, it was challenging when the script is written in English and you had to translate it to pidgin, like from beginning to end. It was hard. The writer was so good, so but he wrote everything in English, and so pidgin English is not something you memorize. You use these words, you have to try and remember that okay, this was what I said before, and I have to repeat it again. And most times in shoot, you have to do like three, four, five takes, and you have to say the same thing. So it was hard being the character, keeping it to the character, staying in the character. It was hard, but beside that. It was good. I loved the challenge. How many days did you guys spend? Uh, I think we spent about 10 to 12 days on set, yeah. Approximately like two weeks. Like working around the time. Like most times I'll go home 6 a.m. and be back on set 8 a.m. It was crazy, but it was fun. I would do that over and over and over and over again. Oh, I love that. I love when you love your job. I love it. My passion for acting is, you can't describe it. If it's about money, I would not be doing it, but for the fun of it, for the passion of it. It was the hardest part of Working on set is the hardest part, but I wouldn't choose an office work where I would have to be in AC for that. But financial benefits, does it come with financial benefit? Uh, I think everything in life comes with, but sometimes it might not start at the beginning, especially when um, you are new in the industry. People don't know you much. So you just have to make those sacrifices, except you don't love it. I love it. So. You do it for passion. I do it for passion. I don't do it for money, and that's the honest truth. I'm not saying that just to blab. That. Now tell them why they have to come out to cinema. So watch this movie in November Toy. Oh, well, Mine is not one of those movies. See, let me go back to, let me do it this way. Mine not be, if you want the movie where they drive better motor, not be Mine, you'll go watch. If you find a movie where they speak for net, everybody don't shrink, 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 not be Mine. But if you want a movie where they said the truth, like the real truth, everything when they happen for Ninja today, now Mine, you go go see. Because for inside Mine, you go see get where they do a shower. You know, inside me, you will see guests when they do drugs. For inside me, you will see say, people do when they vanish guests. They go kill them, remove their body parts. Wait till the, and now wait till they happen for Nigeria today with that. So you need to go see me. For me, you go see bus driver. Get when they be bus driver. Get a uh, bus conductor. Do I feel that's rude? Please. I <laughs> no, I don't think so. Me, I was a prayer warrior in me. No worry. You did not. You won't see me driving bus. No. Mine, you see me there, you see when they bad hair, everything. So it's all encompassing, like it is too much, everything. You can't miss anything when you see Mine. So you have to go to the cinema and see Mine for yourself. Then you can come out and tell the story. All right. Thank you so much for talking. You're welcome. And I hope Hi guys, I'm live here on the red carpet and I have my very first guest here. Please can you introduce yourself? My name is Michael Asulime and I'm a filmmaker and a film director. Yes, so now when I was talking to you back the thing, you told me you're a friend of the producer, right? Yes. So tell me, when your friend brought this idea to you, wants to do this project as a filmmaker, what did you think, bringing up a street film? And I, it was ghetto and ratchet, that's the theme. So right. when he told you you want to make a street film, what came to your mind? Can you see my face? <laughs> exactly the way I was. I was like, you sure you want to do this? Sure, this is what you want to do as your first movie in Nigeria? And they said, yeah, I'm from the street. I want to represent the street. I said, go on, girl. This is how to do it. So I, I was, I was, um, I knew she was going to do a good job. Yeah. I'm expecting to see a good movie yeah. uh, because of who she is and everybody involved, all the actors and everybody. I'm expecting something nice, something real good. So I know you already know what the film is about. Now tell me, do you, <laughs> all right. do you think the viewers are going to love it? I am expecting that. I believe everybody's going to love it. 
uh, for simple reason. One, because of the person involved behind the scene, I know the kind of things that she would love to do. Number two, because of the, uh, the ensemble of stars and the A game that I know they will always bring to the game. And three, because of the challenge there is, because there are a lot of movies that have to do with the streets already out. So everyone wants to be better than the last. So I'm, I'm sure this is going to be this is going to be the bomb. This is going to be the latest rave. My last question, as a filmmaker, tell me how do you do your cast then? Because now a lot of actors are complaining. Oh, they don't give us rules. Some people will say it's divided. Oh, there's YouTube, there's Netflix, there's this, there's that. So tell me, what makes you do casting? How do you do your casting? What makes you think this actor is better for this role? Well, f first off, yeah. uh, we must understand that um, when we're shooting these movies, yeah. there are two ways to it. There is the passion aspect and then there is the commercial aspect, right? So that's the truth. We should not run away from that fact. We are not shooting the movie for the love of air. We are shooting the movie because we want to feed our families, right? So what it means is that some actors have been able to push the envelope, push their game to a point where they are now very, very commercially viable, all right? Some actors, and then also the market, what will they take to you? What they want. The market, the viewers will always tell you, oh, this is what we want, this is who we want, this is how we want it. Right, so you have to flow with the market, flow with the people, and then putting all of this together. And then, of course, when you're you have to also consider the script itself who is best gonna interpret this character the best? So, all the three mixed together will help you in exactly knowing exactly who to pick for which role because there are always there are several actors who could fit into any role whatsoever. So, you have to think through all the parameters and the criteria. And that would, that, would, that would be nice for you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. I'm here with your executive producer. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> yes, my name is Abby. Um, well, Abiola Obadino, a.k.a. Abby. First of all, I love your outfit. You hear that? I like it so much. Thank you so much. We're here for you. All of us here. We're here for you. Well, me and Kezi, she's also an executive producer. So. <laughs> Tell us, when you saw the script, what made you just say, yes, I want to invest in this? Well, to be honest, it's not the script. First, it's more like trying to, you know, support a friend. So Casey is my friend, and um, she wants to break into the Nigerian movie industry. And I see it as an opportunity to, you know, help, her, help her, women supporting women. You know, you know. Now, even at that, the 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 script was really awesome. I, I read through it, and it was a beautiful, beautiful story. And I felt like, okay, well. Yeah, she is able to exhibit the character perf perfectly well. So, um, and then I was like, yeah. well, I already decided. But then the script make me more decided. <laughs> if you get it, that. about the casting. How were you so sure that this were going to be the actors that were going to kill it and bring out exactly what you want? Well, it wasn't an easy thing. It was, um, you know, it was a lot of back and forth between myself, Kezi, and um, the director, director Richard. He, is an, he, he did amazing anyway. He's an amazing soul. Um, so we we just we we felt like there is um we, we felt like you know the characters have to be able to exhibit the characters from the script and we went back and forth because we shot most of the scenes on the street so it's like street 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 so if you are not able to you know talk like the script make it they do like the script you know as why they do like this now. But I know people, I, me, I did try. I be street self I not just. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is uh, we have to figure out which character will go with which cast, and um, that's how we were able to um, bring this um, um, cast to life. So everybody that was picked was actually unpicked to be in the movie. All right, tell them why they have to come out to watch this movie. Uh, November 3rd, actually. So it's going to be in cinemas nationwide November 3rd so please go watch it please support us um, this is the first time that we will come out and do movie and trust me uh, we it's exhausting <laughs> it is exhausting and um, we we're open and we, we think that we might be able to uh, do something different in the movie industry in Nigeria so but if we don't get the support that we're supposed to get then it's gonna be very difficult for us to be able to do it now don't judge us. This is the first time we'll do this. So if there is anything you feel like the we don't meet up, we'll get there because trust me, the the old the, uh, the old thing was not easy. <laughs> the working conditions, everything. Oh, you're not talking, you're not talking about finance, budget. Uh, 
the money every time they oh my goodness they have to come up with something else this one is this, this there's nothing you cannot you cannot do anything in nigeria and they tell you that it's one thousand and it will be one thousand like you like you like you like you could draw if they tell you one thousand just be ready for three thousand five She's fine. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what it What's is. What's your social media handle? Your Instagram, so people can reach you. Too, right? um, yes, definitely. Uh, my Instagram handle is Alora. So A L L U R E. Then by B Y. So all together B Y A B I. Yeah, that's it. Alora Bahabi on Instagram. You you can follow me on there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Again, I'm here on the red carpet and I'm with another cast. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, first, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Tony. So tell me, we are here for the movie premiere of mine. How was it on set? Um, actually, I would say um, it's a little bit challenging being on the set of Mine. Especially when it got to a point when we have to shoot from a particular day to the next morning. It wasn't funny. Well, it was fun from the actors to the directors to the producers to all the crew members. It was perfect. So now tell me, was your scene more of street scene or in the house? Because we heard that you guys were shooting on the street back to back. Was your scenes more of the street or in the house? Men looking at my look now, you have to know that <laughs> my scenes are always on the street. Always an hideout yeah. with the guns and the rest of the thing. It's a bad boy scene, you know. I, Do you have any challenge on, on set? No, I enjoy playing that. The only challenge is that when the director will have to tell you to chase someone, you go and come back. The director will say you didn't get it well. You have to chase the person again at the same time. Yeah, as I'm just talking now, I just noticed my director, my director coming in right now, walking in. <laughs> that's, that's, that's one of the challenge. Alright, if you tell them why they have to come out to cinemas to watch this movie when it comes out? There are a lot of things you have to come out to see in this movie. One, you just have to come and learn as a youth to know what it takes to be in the streets. That is not really, really good to be law of the streets. Because when you think to be law of the streets, there are some other law that are upper than you. Which are the law enforcement. So just come out. Come and cheer us up. Come and see what we do in the movie. Come November third on cinema nationwide. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. Subscribe to Eniola Bibles TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news. You can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Enola Padmos TV Entertainment